A criminal investigation into the murder of Duane Hilton near Fabers Road on Wednesday has thus far proven fruitless, despite all efforts by Belize City Police to make an arrest and determine a motive. Hilton is one of two men to have come under fire from a lone gunman who emerged on the scene shortly after 6 o'clock that evening. The pair was inside a yard at the corners of Custard Apple and Baldwin Streets when the shooting began. He came in at the yard and he said, hey, gunman, they follow me. Gunman, they follow me. And as he could finish say that, then they just had one. A monk of bullet get sprayed. Assistant Superintendent Calbert Flowers sheds light on police response. Sometime around 6.45 p.m., police visited an area in the Fabers Road extension area, corner Baldwin and Custard Apple Street, where in a yard they observed the apparent lifeless body of a dark-skinned male person, later identified as Duane Hilton. Police observed multiple gunshot wounds on the body. According to Hilton's relative, Kendra Rabatou, she had just met her cousin moments earlier and had warned him to go home promptly since his spate of shootings is ongoing. Little did she know that she'd learn of the fatal incident shortly after on the evening news. I just sit down by my mother, wait for the news command, and the news command, and then we hear about an unconfirmed shooting on Faber's Road. Then I get the call from my cousin and said that he gets shot. I understand that, according to my cousin, that she made a home in my house, right from Faber's Road, when her lead son come and hear and said, Ma, come hurry. And she now a nurse, and she said when she reached the house, that in exchange for her house, that he did it with four bullets in, her, in his chest. Hilton's murder was the second violent attack in the area in less than 24 hours. Whether or not the attempted murder of Edwin Drive Flowers the night before is related to this incident is a subject of police investigation. At this time, we are still in the process of investigation. We have recorded several statements. We have interviewed several persons. However, no substantial lead at this time. Sir, uh, people in the neighborhood speculate that there may be a relationship between the shooting on Tuesday night of Edwin Drive Flowers and the murder on Wednesday night. Do you all believe there is a connection? We are exploring all angles and we are looking, we are certainly looking in that direction. The shooting where Edwin Flowers got shot and where Hilton got shot is very close proximity to each other. We are looking at that angle to see if indeed they are related. While it is a lead being followed by investigators, the family says that Hilton was not affiliated with any particular gang. If anything, they are saying he may have been targeted based on the area where he grew up. I don't know if he associated himself with any gang or anything like that, but he, we grew up around um, um, Ebony Street and City Street and Mopan Street area, and they associate that area with the Ghost Town area. I grew up wrong there, so I don't, I don't have no kind of association with gang. So I could tell her that they have people wrong the, where that wrong the neighborhood when not associate with no gang. I don't know if you have no enemy or if anybody wants to shoot here or anything like that. Could this have been the result of some ongoing rivalry between other gangs in Belize City and he was taken to be either one of them or he was too friendly with one of, well, in this case, maybe the Ghost Town Gang? I think that... Um, um, what happened is that because of the shooting that happened at Farber's Road last night, I think that um, probably he just get brand as somebody within the neighborhood and, and that, that saw him end up to get shot because I don't know if he have no problem with anybody when it comes to any kind of shooting or so. Police confirm having detained someone for questioning. However, no arrest has been made in the latest homicide. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Ketan.